So we're beginning a new teaching series today titled Living by Faith. Somebody say, Living by Faith. Last month, we shared on purposeful living, and I'm sure it was a blessing to you, right? So I want to begin today by teaching on by faith. Somebody say, by faith. See, first and foremost, you need to know that faith is essential. Faith is what? Is essential. There is no substitute for faith. There is no substitute for faith. There are two things that every believer, every child of God cannot take for granted. There are two things that every child of God cannot take for granted. The first thing that a child of God cannot take for granted is learning how to be led by the Spirit of God. All right, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 and verse 14, it says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So, you see, you need to learn and master how God leads us. And in Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 34, I believe, 33, 34, in NLT, if you can dig it out, Deuteronomy 1, 33 and 34, it says, the Lord your God has gone ahead of you to seek out the best places for you to camp. God has gone ahead of you. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 33, if you can, 33 and 34. Who goes before you looking for what? The best places to do or to camp. So you see, you need to master how to be led by the Spirit of God. Because God will always lead you to the best places. He will lead you to the best man. He will lead you to the best woman. He will lead you to the best job. He will lead you to the best investment. He can lead you to the people who need the gospel. Am I talking to someone here? He says it goes before you looking for the best places to come. Guiding you with what? With a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day. So there is no day that you lack direction. There is no season that you lack instruction. He said, you shall hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, do what? Walk in it. So God guides, God leads. Somebody say with me, say God guides, God leads. Say it again, say God guides, say God leads. Say this month is leading me and I'm following him into my best places. He has prepared best places for you. He has things he has prepared for you. There are opportunities with your name on it. But you need to trust him to lead you there. You need to trust him to lead you. See, that's why we're talking about living by faith. It's talking about, that's why we're talking about living by faith. You can only follow God by faith. You can only follow God by faith. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Living Bible says, Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. I have everything that I need. I have everything I need. The earliest days of my life, I learned about the journey of faith. All right? Learned about the journey of faith. My mom had eye challenges and she traveled with a dear uncle of mine. Were, she had to keep an appointment with an ophthalmologist. Okay? And then she said that my uncle, you know, by then, someone had to hold her hand and say, Mommy, let's cross the road now. So they will cross. All right? And then she said, Mommy, now we can stop. They will stop. Okay, mommy, now do this, we'll do this, mommy, do this, we'll do this. So that happened to her many years back. Then when I got into Arua, and then when uh, the work of ministry started, we went back to the same city. We went for a family function. And as we were driving past the place, I said, ah, mommy, this is this optic house that I used to come to then. I said, oh, true. And she said, do you remember then? My dear uncle's name is Daniel. He said, do you remember then? He said, when Daniel says cross, I cross. When Daniel says stop, I stop. And then she added something. He said, son, that, she, she said, son, that is how the journey of faith is. In the journey of faith, there are never two seeing eyes. All right? There are only one seeing pair of eyes. There should always be a blind party. He says, let, he says, let God be the one seeing. You see nothing. All right? When he says go, you go. When he says stop, you stop. He said in the journey of faith, you are the blind party. God is the only one that sees. That's why he says that we walk by faith and not by sight. Faith is our sight in God. Faith is seeing what God is seeing. Am I talking to someone here? Faith is seeing what God is seeing. So sometimes God is asking you to do things that does not even make any sense. But you see by faith, Lord, I do it. Lord, by faith, I make a move with you. Lord, by faith, I do what you are asking me to do. Because the Bible says in Hebrews 11 and verse 6, it says, but without faith, it is impossible. See, if that is where you stop, it's fine. Anything you put after, without faith, it is impossible to do or to please God. 
Without faith, it is impossible. Hebrews 11, 6. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe. Two things. Number one, that he is. I am serving a living God. I'm serving a God of miracles. Who is God to you? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Who is God to you? He is my Jehovah Rapha. Who is God to you? He is I am that I am. Who is God to you? He is my supplier. Who is God to you? He is the covenant keeping God. The one who says a thing and keeps his word. That is the God I serve. I believe he is. Paul was saying to them, he said, the Lord God whose I am and whom I serve, he stood by me, the angel of the Lord stood by me last night and he said to me, there shall be no loss. He was sure of the God is serving. Are you sure of the God you are serving? So you must believe that he is. You can't be behaving like you don't have a father. I have a father who will never fail me. You can't be believing that you don't have a God you serve. Amen. So you must believe that he is. And that is what? A rewarder. Of those who do what? Who diligently seek him. So we are pressing on God. If you have not been pressing him before. Pressing this month. Pressing. Pressing this month. Yeah, the testimony of our brother. So I started praying. 12, 3, 6. I started praying. I said, praying, listen to me. If you don't have a job now, be better engage yourself in full-time intercession. It's a good job to do. Because while you begin to pray, God will begin to move things on your behalf. I've taught you before that when we pray, sweet coincidences happen. Sweet coincidences. When man works, man works. But when man prays, God works. God is at work. When you're going to prayer, God is at work. God is at work. You are giving wings to angels to fly. When you're going to prayer. When you go into prayer. And I want to say to you in Hebrews 6 and verse 1. The Bible makes us know that faith is towards God. So the object of our faith is who? Is God. Not man. Not man. Not man. Not man. Not man. Faith toward God. Hebrews 6 1. Faith toward God. Can you say the last word there? Faith toward who please? Toward God. You is faith toward God. It is faith toward God. It is faith toward God. It is faith toward God. The Bible says that they that look up to him. says their faces are what? They are enlightened. And they are not, never, never ashamed. They will never be put to shame. They will never be put to shame. Who is your source? Who is your source? Who is your source? With your source, with your source, with your source, with your source, with your source. If the only thing you learn in your sal- is your salary, you are too poor. Yeah. You better take your eyes off your salary and say, Lord, I thank you for my salary. I'm grateful for it. But God, there is something, I, I, there is something called faith income. What will happen when there is no salary? Am I talking to someone here? See, when I got called into full-time ministry, a dear father lives in Ibadan here. He asked me, he said, so, I said, so how are you going to pay your bills? How are you going to pay your bills? I smiled. I prostrated before him. I said, sir. I said, daddy, with due respect, sir. I said, if I come to you and I said that Glow give me employment letter, will you ask me that question? If I tell you empty and give me employment letter, will you ask me that question? If I tell you that Shell and Chevron has given me employment letter, will you ask me that question? If I tell you that I got a job with Apple, will you ask me that question? Zenith Bank, GT Bank, will you ask me that question? I said, if you will not ask me, when, if you not ask me, because men, men can pay, don't ask me whether God will pay. I said, God can pay. God pays. God does what? He pays. I akabatai. This is the 12 years of doing this work. I have not lacked. 12 years. 12 years. Amen. God pays. Oh, how are we going to get the upper? God brings the uppers. The last time I checked, 3 million people in the wilderness. 3 million. He fed them for 40 years. For 40 years. If, uh, 
you eh ti rin keke do you understand know, let me talk to you in barapa you've not seen anything yet 3 million people for 40 years he fed them 3 million he fed them ha, moses said where will i get meat to feed all these people now how many how many cow we, we are we going to slaughter god said what kind of question are you asking i control the wind Am I talking so on here? The Bible says it caused the wind. Numbers 11:31. He said they caused the east wind to blow and began to blow quails in the direction of the camp. Quails. He said everywhere they go no matter the direction they turn in a day's journey or in a how many feet. He said they will always find something to eat. There is supply. There is supply. There is supply. There is supply. It is give us this day our daily bread. Every day there is bread to eat. Every day if you didn't get your bread go to the bakery give us this day our what are the the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof my father he owns the cattle on a thousand hills i've been young now old i've never seen the righteous forsaken or his generation beg for bread beg never beg never beg never we ask and we receive we seek and we find we knock and the door is open on us that's how we live that's how we live lord thank you for my salary but where's my daily bread there is a supply that the father must give there is a supply that the father must give lord i thank you for all you are doing with my salary oh. but god this salary they call it take home but it doesn't take me home but you are my father you can take care of me am i talking to someone here you are my father you can take care of me your salary can be 50000 and your favor package is 500000 you better be conscious of favor be very conscious of favor it is working for me they walk into a, into your office and there are three ladies sitting down there and the man walks up to you and says how are you Just today that I came and he just jumped up, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and he leaves. And he comes back and says, "Ah, you know, you have yesterday. I just said I should come and say thank you. Let me put you something. Am I talking to someone? There is something called what? The favor package of God. What's it called? The favor package of God. There's something called the favor package of God. I remember I, one of my aunts. She went to preach minister in a church. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Are you being blessed already? Are you been blessed already? All right, so when the minister came to preach, she said, "Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, J
Is it that you are trusting God or you are trusting your account balance? You know, some of you, your faith is strong when your account balance is good. But you see, if you can live perpetually and put yourself in a state where you have to trust in Him, where you have to believe in Him, it helps you. It helps you. So when Rachel, Jacob, the Lord spoke to you, it's time for you to leave Laban's house. And he began the journey. Remember, Laban came after him. I've quoted that scripture for you before. And he said, it's in my power to hurt you. He said, but the God of your father, he appeared to me last night. and said, do not say anything to him, whether good or bad. You say a word, you are gone. So he came that day, he came gentle. He said, but why, why, Jaco, Jaco, why? Why would you leave my house and still steal my own gods? Ah, Jacob said, me, steal your gods. He said, you find your God here. No matter the person you find, let, let the person die. Let the person not live. It was only Rachel that did not die. Amen. Careful. Just leave it. Don't worry. Let me just use this. Don't bother. So that it's not distracting us. God bless you, sir. All right? Amen. Glory be to God. So it was only Rachel died on the wheel. See, when the father came and said, See, who is with who is with my God? And he said, You can search. He began to search from place to place. He began to search from place to place. Rachel carried the idols of her father's house and sat on it. And sat on it. And sat on it. And her father, he said, ah, it's unto me according to the manner of women. That's why I can't stand up. That is, I'm having my monthly period. I'm sorry. That's why I can't stand up, sir. And Levan said, it's all right. You know, I know, I know, I know. It can't be you. If she was going on a journey with a man the Lord instructed. And she was carrying idols. Am I talking to you now? You can't go on a journey with God and you're still carrying idols. You can't go. He said, when the elders, Jeremiah was right. He said, when the elders of the land come to me to say, what is the Lord saying? He said, I will answer them according to the idols in their heart. There are idols you must deal with if you must go on this walk with God. And one of sometimes that idol is having confidence in yourself. Is having confidence in yourself. That see, I know, I know, I know I can do it. No, you can't do it though. You can't do it. You can't do it. When Joseph got before Pharaoh, and Pharaoh said, they told me that you can interpret dreams. He said, it is not in me. It is not in me. He said, but God can give Pharaoh the interpretation to these dreams. It is not in me. See, the, the self dimensions of you have to die for you to walk with God. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 1, and Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. He said, Jesus being full of the Spirit, was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. If you are not full of the Spirit, you can't be led by the Spirit. A lot of people are full of self and they want to be led by the Spirit. You can't be full of yourself, full of your own ideas and think the Lord will help you. And think the Lord is going to lead you. When Naomi came back from their journey to Moab, you know what she said? He said, he said I went away full. But I came back empty. That was the only time in her emptiness that she could plug into the plan of God. That was when Ruth could be launched out. You see, it, sometimes you are full of your ideas and God will allow you to take your journey for so he can empty you. When he's done empty you, you will now start with him again. Because God does not begin until you've gotten to an end of yourself. Alright, you better go to God and say, Lord, I am here. It's called absolute surrender. You can't have a journey of faith without absolute surrender to God. You can't have a journey of faith when you are still trying to EJ uh, you in your own way. No, sir. You can't have a journey of faith that way. It will empty you. Empty that. When she came by, I said, You are ready. Now you are ready. Now you are ready. Now you are ready. Are you with me? What is faith? Faith is absolute trust in God. Faith is what, please? Absolute trust in God. Faith is total surrender to the, to the Lord. In obedience to his instructions. Absolute trust. Total surrender. That is faith. That is faith. That is faith. That is faith. Faith believes the Lord. No matter the evidences. Faith believes God. No matter what. No matter the evidences. No matter what they are telling you. Faith believes God. Faith believes God. No matter what anyone is saying. No matter the medical report. Faith believes God. Faith believes God. Faith believes God. You need to start eating sickness like you hate poverty. Hate poverty like you hate sickness. Am I talking to you now? Because the source of it all is the same. And I've told you, don't tolerate nonsense. Whatever you tolerate, you can't change it. 
So no matter the evidence you see, have faith. There were giants in the land. And he says, wherever the soul of your fish shall tread upon, I will give it to you. And they went from place to place. And they were conquering. 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 Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So faith is trusting God. First and foremost, regardless of evidences. But much more regardless of consequences. So you can be looking at the fairy furnace. You are looking at the fairy furnace. He said, we'll throw you in The Lord we serve is able to save us. And then he said, even if it does not save us, even if it does not save us, we will still not bow. That's faith there. Am I talking to you? And the Bible makes us know that the just shall live by what? By faith. How will the just live? How will the just live? Who is the just? The man who has been saved is the righteous man. All right? Romans 5, verse 1 and 2. All right? That's the just. They haven't been justified by faith. So it means that we're saved. All right? We're saved by faith. So the just is the man who is born again. He's the man who has given his life to Jesus. All right? And this just man must do what? Must live by faith. 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 Hebrews 11 and verse 3. Hebrews 11, 27. Hebrews 11, 27. Faith is seen the invisible. Faith is seen what, please? The invisible. Faith is seen the invisible. It's seen the invisible. That's faith. It said, seeing him who is invisible. Seeing him who is invisible. Remember, the object of our faith is who? Is God. Seeing him who is invisible. 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 That's faith. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalm 23 verse 1, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. And I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. So faith is following the shepherd. Faith is what, please? Following the shepherd. Step by step. Going all the way with him. Listening to his instructions. That's it. So faith is relationship based. It's relationship with who? With the shepherd. That's faith. Faith is relationship with the shepherd. Faith is relationship with the shepherd. You are in relationship with God. That's faith. That's faith. That's faith. Let's quickly see what happens by faith. Then we close this morning. Let me just quickly run through this. What happens by faith? Number one, we are saved by faith. Are we saved? By faith. Ephesians 2 and verse 8. The Bible says, for by grace you have been saved through faith. So we are saved by grace through faith. Alright? So by grace you have been saved through faith. Through faith. So faith leads to salvation. Faith leads to salvation. Number two. Our walk with God can only be by faith. If you are going to walk with God, it can only be by faith. It can only be by faith. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 7. It says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. The opposite of faith is sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. So our walk with God can only be by faith. I will draw more number three because it's important. Number three, faith redefines our reality. Faith does what, please? Redefines our reality. It means that fire can be burning and yet you are not consumed. It means that you can sleep in the den of lions. That's what it is. Hebrews 11, 33 to 34. Faith redefines our reality. Hebrews 11, 33 to 34. Hebrews 11, you know the book of Hebrews, we're still going to read it a lot this month. Okay? It's about faith. Hebrews 11. Who through faith did what please? Subdued kingdoms. They rocked righteousness. What did they do again? Obtained promises. Then what did they do again? Stopped the mouth of lions. When you hear that, who will come to your mind? Who came to your mind? Daniel. He stopped the mouth of lions. So we now know that it was by faith. 
that Daniel stopped the mouth of lions. What did they do next? Quench the violence of fire. Who comes to your mind there? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So now it's now that we know there was an operation of what? Of faith. They escaped the edge of the sword. Out of weakness, were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the, the armies of the aliens. Now let's read this. Daniel chapter 3. Let's read from verse 19 to 28. Daniel 3, 19 to 28. Hallelujah. Let's use NKJV just for interactive purpose. Daniel 3, 19 to 28. Are we there? All right. The Bible says, Then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury, and the expression on his face changed towards Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He spoke and commanded that they eat, that they eat the furnace. How many times more, please? Than it, than it was usually eaten. That is, let it get, let it get tougher. Let it get tougher. He commanded certain mighty men of valor who were in his army to do what, please? To bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the burning fairy furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats with their clothes, their trousers, their turbans, and their other garments. And they were cast into the exceedingly, into the midst of the burning fairy furnace. Therefore, because the king's command was urgent and the furnace was exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire killed those men who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fairy furnace. Those who threw them in, they've not entered, but they were dead. They, they got inside. And yet, those who threw them in, am I talking to someone here? See, faith is our protection in this time. Not psychology. Not motivation. Not philosophies of men. Faith is what? Is our protection. Listen. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished. And he rose in haste and spoke, saying to his counselors, did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, true, O king, go. Look, he answered, I see four men lose. Somebody say lose. Walking in the midst of what? Of the fire. They are not hot. They are not. They are not. They are walking where? In the midst of the fire. They are walking in the midst of fire. And they are not hot. They are not hot. And the form of the fourth is like the son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar went near the mouth of the burning fairy furnace and spoke, saying, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out and come here. The same mouth that he used to throw them in, he used to bring them out. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out from the midst of the fire. And the satraps, administrators, governors, and the king's counselors gathered together. And they saw these men on whose body the fire had no power. The hair of their head was not sinked, nor were their garments affected. Now, let's read the last part together. What do you say? The smell of fire was not on them. How many of you have passed by burning bush before? Do you know the way you used to smell? But can you imagine you went into fire? You, you were not just burnt. Fire was never even smelling on you. It seemed as though you didn't go through it at all. Listen to me. Faith is powerful. Faith is powerful. Faith is powerful. Psychology can, you, no matter what, you can be a PhD holder and say, you know, I've developed a theory. If a PhD holder comes to you now and said, I've done a research, I've done a theory about how you can touch fire and it will not burn you. Will you follow him? He said, with all your status, I'm not following you, sir. I'm not following you, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Now, look at where, where the key is. Look at where the key is. Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel and delivered the servants. Who did what, please? Come on. Who did what, please? What does it mean to trust? Have faith. Have faith in God. And they are frustrated, the king's word. Am I, are we together? Daniel 6. 19 to 23. This was after they drew Daniel into the den of lions also. Let's see it. I just want to tell you that it's about trusting in God. It's about what? 
trusting in God. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. All right, Daniel 6, 19. All right, let's read what they say. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste to the den of lions. Go on, please, sir. 20. And when he came to the den, he cried out with a lamenting voice to Daniel. The king spoke, saying to Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, as your God, whom you serve once in a while, no, continually been able to deliver you from the lions? Go on. Then Daniel said to the king, the, the fact that if we, if we even respond, I am no kotobarante labatai. The fact that he could give an answer, it was his voice should not have been heard. His voice said, "Oh, king, live forever. Go on, please. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God." You know, this was the era of King Saul. King Saul, every time he referred to God, he was always calling him your God. But not David. David always said, my God. See, faith is relationship. Faith is what? Relationship. Do you have a relationship in that I can say, my God? My God. My God. Somebody say with a loud voice, say, my God. My God. You see? There is something we can even call him now that they can't call him then. My father. My father. My father. My father. My father. Sent his angel and shut the lion's mouth so that they have not hurt me. Because what? I was found innocent before him and also king. I have done no wrong before you. Go on, please. Yes. Now the king was exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no injury. Can you see the same thing? No smell of smoke. This one, no scratch. No injury. Whatever was found on him. Let's read the last line together. What do you say? Because he believed what? Because he believed in word, in his God. Number four. Faith makes believers to operate in the realm of divinity. It is only by faith that we can operate in the realm of what, please? In the realm of divinity. It's only by faith. It's only by faith that we can operate in the realm of divinity. The Bible says in Mark, Mark chapter 9 and verse 23, it says, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who does what? Who believes. So, faith makes things that are impossible, possible. But the condition is to do what? Is to believe. And see, that realm of making things that are impossible, possible, is the realm of divinity, not the realm of man. Divinity. Divine. Yes. It's the realm of God. The realm of making things that are impossible, possible, is the realm of who, please? It's the realm of God. It's the realm of God. Why? In Mark 10, 27. The Bible says with men it is impossible but not with God. With men it is impossible but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Somebody say with God all things are possible. Say it again. Say with God all things are possible. Say with God all things are possible. But he also said that all things are possible to him that believe. So if a man believes he will operate in the realm of God. Believe me moves out in the name of God. See, by Tuesday, I will show you that faith is not of the head. It's of the heart. It's not head knowledge. It is a connection in your heart. Faith is of what? It's of the heart. We believe in the heart, not in the head. It's not, it's not, it's not mental consent. It is of the heart. If you will believe with your heart. So believing is where? It's of the heart. Because there are some things that it only takes believing of the heart to muster through. This time two years ago, when we're building, I still remember our last communion service, I think, in February, thereabout. We were praying for convention just like this. And I said to the church in communion, I said, we will have 
our 10th anniversary in our building. You know the way when you say pastor has said something. But pastor, believe for yourself. But for us, the state we see. Some people may just say glory to encourage your faith. They are just trying to encourage you. But I said, let's dance before God. So we danced, we danced, we danced. See, you move in faith. How do you move? You move in faith. How do you move? You move in faith. I don't see if I can dig out that message someone sent to me. If I could dig it out, it would it just too powerful. All right. So in that season, the first thing that happened after that communion service was the very next morning. The very no, that night was Thursday. That night, someone was my senior in effect. Just sent me a message requesting for church account. Yeah. Requesting for church account. He just sent me a message requesting for church account. I'm like, ah, what's happening here? So I sent him to church account. That night, he sent, he sent 200,000. I want to look for something. He sent 200,000. But it was not descending, really. That was the thing. Okay? Let's see if I could find it. I'm not finding it. It wasn't the sending really that was the key. Alright? What was it was is dealing for him to send it. Alright? Because he said that I'd always wanted to give something. He said that people want to do things for you. But until you step into the realm of faith, you won't access it. Their intention will remain intention forever. Am I making sense to you? The moment we release words, that's why I love you, say, keep speaking. No. The moment we release words, say, we're moving in there. God said, it has been done then. If you believe it, you must say it. If you believe it, you must do what you must say. No matter how big it is, if you believe it, you must say it. If you believe it, you must say it. If you can't say it, you don't believe it. If you can't say it, you don't believe it. I will never be sick. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you believe it? I can come watch my love and Okay. But do you, do you get what I'm saying? Trying to say yeah. I will never be barren. Do you understand? Believe it, you say. I can never be poor. If you believe it, you say it. Anytime you've said it, have they brought police to come and arrest you? Eh? Have they brought police to come and arrest you for dreaming too big? I will never be sick. I can never be poor. I can never be small. You keep saying it. They say, you have loud mouth. Leave me. Leave me at my loud mouth. Leave it like that. Leave me like that. What's the message he sent? He said, I'd always wanted to send money for the property. He said, what? He said, but yesterday, I received some money. And I said, ah. And I wanted to, and the Lord prompted me, he said, now send money. He said, send money to take me now. Take me. See, he's the person in faith though. He didn't say send money to NGC. He said send money to Demi. But it was for our building. Amen. But I'm just trying to show you something. I don't have the time today. Okay. But then, he said, God said, send money to Demi now. He said, he wanted to transfer 100,000. God said, no. 200. Ah. So he said, they tried the first time. It didn't go. Second time, it did not go through. He said, third time, he tried it. It didn't go through. He said, God, this is not going. God said, it's not me. It's the network. Try again. Try again. Maybe you should wait till tomorrow. God said, no, it's the network. Try again. He said, when he tried again, he now went. He now added something. He said, Pastor Timmy, I don't know what you are doing, but keep whatever you are doing right, keep doing it. He said, God that is holding the mind and the heart of someone in Abuja to send money to you. He said, don't stop serving him. I can share. See, journeys of faith. On that journey, there was a point, I've shared this with you before, we need 800k. 800k for plumbing and wiring. 800,000. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's not today. We've been on this journey for a while. Okay? And it was there that day. We gathered auditorium, right? Under, they started roofing by then. They were side roofing. Huh? Right there. They came, they brought the bill. I said, let's just praise God. So we held down. I said, Father, we thank you because we know that supplies are come. And we thank them. I said, don't worry. On this project now, we know that we sleep and wake up and we have money. So we all went to bed. But you see, the truth is, they went to bed. Me, I was awake at night. I laid before God. 
I said, that is your project. That is your project. You will show up for this one. And I know you will. After I laid before you and thanked him, and I went to sleep. In fact, before I went to, I went to sleep. You know that sleep that you're not sleeping, you're not sure awake. Sleeping. But I, as I woke up, I picked my phone. And I saw someone transfer a receipt to me of 500k. I'm telling you. 500,000. See, it's all faith. Am I talking to you? It's called faith. She didn't make transfer. I said, praise God. I started thanking God again. I went to the church in the morning. I said, you better, I told them, I said, you better start preparing to travel. Abby, that's faith. Faith is action. I said, start preparing to travel. You go and buy everything we need for plumbing and for wiring. You go and buy everything. I said, yes, sir. So I went, saw the bill. We needed 300,000 more. I was climbing the lobby, walking towards children's church. As I climbed, as I was about to enter in children's church, I saw a message. Pastor, tell me, please, can I get the account number for the for the church project? I said, why not? Sent it to the person. All right? The person sent 300,000. Exact amount we needed. 800K. k. Once we Once he landed, I said, wow. Praise God. Now, the person had said, I said, God bless you, sis. The person said, you are a great steward. You are a good steward of God's resources. And that was it. They went to buy. But I've told you before, the story did not end there. Because these two people, one, I called one. I said, hey, brother, how are you? I called him like some months after. I said, brother, how are you? The Lord bless you. Bless you and multiply in the name of Jesus. I said, do you remember? I said, I just remember today that this day, so, 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 you sent us 500,000 for the building project. And the person went, eh? Pastor Temi, sent you what? I said, half a million. He said, I didn't send you money. I said, you sent us money. He said, no, sir. He said, I can't send you half a million and not know. It was your chart that transferred the receipt to WhatsApp. I, said, I can't send you money and not know. I said, I said, maybe you had forgotten. But April, last year, I think it was April last year, the lady that I sent message and said, send 300,000. She came to, we're on break, my son was wrong there. She came to check us where we're staying in Lagos. And when she came in that night, we were just in and talking. I said, ah, by the way, my sister, God bless you. Thank you. Because last year, we've not seen since then, no. You sent us 300,000 for the building. She looked at Pastor Nkana and I said, 300 what? When? I didn't send you money. I'm telling you the truth. If I was the only one then, I would say, Pastor Abby, she was there. I said, I didn't send you any money. What am I trying to say to you? If God will use angels to deposit money, he will use them. You just stay in faith. You just stay in faith. How can you? me go if I give you ten thousand? I won't forget. I can't forget. I'm, I can't see if God can say if men refuse to praise me, I will raise up stones. If you can raise stones to praise, it can raise stones to bring supplies. Am I talking to you now? It can bring angels to bring supplies. It can bring angels to bring supplies. It can bring angels to bring supplies. Have faith in God. He finds the story. It's called possibilities. Number five. We quench the fiery darts of the enemy by faith. By faith. By faith. Ephesians 6 and verse 16. It says, above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. You take what please? The shield of faith. And that's how you stop the fiery darts of the enemy. See, so we are not joking. When we kept saying we are the ransomed of the Lord. And we have passed over. We are the redeemed of the Lord. We shall always return. We sing it. We dance it. And rejoice it. Sorrow and money shall be far from us. We are not joking. We say it every day in my house. Sometimes I'm driving. A thought crosses my heart. You know, sometimes you can be driving. And they will just say, oh, do I look by on this? I say, nonsense. I'm the ransomed of the Lord. I have passed over. I'm the redeemed of the Lord. I shall always return. We singing and dancing and rejoicing. Sorrow and mourning shall be far from me. You see, that thing I told you last week, I started saying it. I am blessed in my going out. I am blessed in my coming in. He didn't say I'm blessed in my going out. I'm broke in my coming in. No. When I go out, I am blessed. When I'm coming back, I'm also blessed. 
Just if I'm going to my shop and I leave and there is just five naira in my pocket or 50 naira or 500 naira, when I'm coming back, I should have at least 5,000. I should never have less than I went out with. I should never have less than I went out with. I should never have less than I went out with. Do you understand what I'm trying to say now? Do you know that when your salary and you start spending and it's dropping and it's dropping, you have a right to ask for daily bread. Amen. Finally, number six. Are you blessed this morning? Are you blessed this morning? Number six. Faith is how we draw everything Jesus delivered to us. We draw it by faith. Everything Jesus delivered to us is drawn by what, please? By faith. By faith. Everything. Everything. Let me show you what Jesus delivered to us. Would you like to see it? Revelation 5 and verse 12. Revelation 5 and verse 12. Let me show you Revelation 5 and verse 12. Everything Jesus delivered to us is delivered. Is, you get it by faith. You get it by faith. You need to be in faith to get it. You need to be in faith to get it. You need to be in faith to get it. Faith is the language that the realm of the spirit understands. Faith is the language that the realm of the unseen understands. That's why we operate in the supernatural. We operate by what? This by faith. You operate by faith. You operate by faith. When a goat is bleating, it is men that say they are bleating. A goat understands a goat. Because in their realm, that's their language. Am I talking to you now? So when I get into the realm of faith, some men will not understand me when I start talking some things. When I start speaking, they will say it's arrogant. Do you understand what I'm saying now? They are not in my realm. So they will say it's arrogant. See, when I say I cannot be sick, they will say it's arrogant. I can never be poor. Say, is this economy? Is this economy? Is this economy? Nigeria, Nigeria, Ole. 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 Ah, you do it, you run it, you do it. Am I talking to someone here? See, when you begin to speak like that, you know people don't like you. They say, hmm, 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 in fact, I have come. Am I talking to someone here? All right. The Bible says, don't call conspiracy what they call conspiracy. Uh -uh. I'm the priest of the Lord. Though. Even those who serve the foreign strange gods, they say, I can go. Those who serve their own gods, so they know. Let alone me that I'm royal priesthood flowing from the lineage of Jesus, the son of the most high God. I will now stand in front of you and not be complaining what other people are complaining about. No, sir. No, sir. No, 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 no. It's not possible. It is not possible. When they are talking darkness, light is shining upon me. Am I talking to someone here? When they are down, I am up. Am I talking to someone here? That's my reality. When people come to you and say, let's face reality. I don't have the time today. I would have changed your scripture. The Bible says in Colossians, you say Christ is our reality. So when they say let's face reality, tell them my reality is Christ. So let's face Christ. Let's face Christ. Let's face Christ. Let's face Christ. That's my reality. Stay in faith, please. See what Jesus has delivered for you. There is nothing you need in life that is not embedded in this powerful seven, seven-fold blessing. Look at it. Saying with a loud voice, what is the lamb that was slain? To do what, please? To do what? To receive what? What did he do? He received power. But he told us in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, you shall receive power too. When the Holy Ghost has come upon you. That is, I received this so you can have it. He was empowered for your sake so you can have it. When he said, all power in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. He now said, go. Am I right? What did he say again? Luke 10, 19 said, I've given you authority to trample upon snakes and scorpions. And nothing shall by any means harm you. Jesus does not need power in that heaven again. It's where you need power now. Yeah. So he took it so you can have it. You are not powerless. You are the one behaving like a weak child of God. Say so to receive power. Go back there. Revelations 5. Don't worry. 5 12. I understand this. I just said it in passing. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Case is becoming. Receive power and what? And riches. My God, for who? Is Jesus spending dollars? Is he spending naira? For who? Riches for who? For who? Have you forgotten? He said, he said, he said, for your sake, he became poor. So that you might become. So who has the riches? 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 Are you poor? Are you broke? Are you poor? Let the poor say, even if you think you are poor. He said, let the poor say. 
someone was def- defending someone was defending poverty the other day he said jesus said that the poor you will always have with you i said i'm the you there i'm not the poor am i talking to you now i am the you there i'm not the poor he showed two categories of people the poor you will always have with you so you choose your line choose the queue you want to stay do you want to stay on the queue of the poor i don't have a problem you will be around me that's why i'm blessed i will give to you i will sponsor school fees i will pay house rent i will do all that for you because that is the place you have chosen but for me where do i stay you choose your queue which queue are you on are you sure you don't sound like you are sure which queue are you on no 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 you don't sound like you are sure which queue are you on which queue are you on? 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 I'm on the queue of fullness. I'm on the queue of abundance. I'm on the queue of an overflow. I'm on the queue of health. I'm on the queue of prosperity. I'm on the queue of grace. I'm on the queue of favor. I'm on the queue of his mercy. And it's my turn. My turn. What's the next thing? Wisdom. Do you know the Bible says Christ has been made unto us wisdom. Wisdom. He has been made unto us the power and the wisdom of God. Ah, wisdom. So, you see, you can again choose the key. Walk with the wise. Associate with fools. And you get into trouble. Alright, so you can choose your camp. Me, I already know my camp. I'm in the camp of the wise. Am I talking to someone now? Alright, how did I become wise? Christ. He said, the Bible says, Yeah, I have the mind of Christ. If I have his mind, it's not a foolish mind. That mind is too, is wise. So I'm not confused. He stop saying, stop saying, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Ah, why won't you know what to do? I know what to do. Let me go and ask the wise one. Ah, Holy Ghost, the wise one. Teach me, what should I do? And he will show you. Ah, I'm even confused about life. Ah! You shall hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way. Walk in it. I'm the wise. What's the next one? Strength. Are you weak? Are you weak? Even if you are weak, say, let the weak say. 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 say. So what are you? Strong. I have a supply of strength. I have a supply of strength. See, divine instructions require the, the require divine strength to carry out. So when you have anything from God, you better ask for the strength of God. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Strength. What's the next thing? Oh no. Ah. You know, it says in Isaiah, it says, For your shame, I will give you double or no. Double or no. Double or no. Double honor. I don't know this grace. So I only know honor. Everywhere I go, in, go to people honor me. See, when I go into a place and people talk to me anyhow, I first check myself. Yeah. I wonder for share you, me. you know that kind of thing. But possible. Do you understand what I'm saying? I will go, in, in fact, I will likely go back there. I will go and pray like God. What happened? Were you not with me there? If you were with me, it's called honor. He said they received and delivered what? Honor. Honor. What's the next thing? Glory. Ah, for thou, Lord, are the shield unto me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Glory. Glory. We don't know shame. Glory. That's what we know. Glory. What's the last thing? Blessing. What's the last thing? They are blessed. Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning, in the noon, in the evening, because Abraham. Look, fix your eyes on these seven things. And I want you to receive what Jesus has paid for. Am I saying talking to you now? I want you to pray these seven, this many, these seven manifold blessings of God. Alright, into your life. Alright, I want you to fix your gaze upon it. All right, maybe there is one that is deficient now. You better take it and begin to draw. Begin to draw. 
begin to drop begin to dry is that okay now all right will you pray for for 60 seconds like everything depends on it will you rise on your feet and pray for 60 seconds we drop by faith all right jesus was going to the house of jairus all right jesus was going to the house of jairus to raise jairus daughter am i talking to someone here he was facing a direction but a woman came and touched the hem of his garment and drew virtue from him the virtue was for raising the dead but she took a virtue that took care of an illness of 12 years because when you have faith the anointing moves in your direction when you have faith virtue flows in your direction you can use faith to change the direction of things am i talking to you now all right he drew and jesus looked and said your faith has made you whole all right do you have some faith to draw this night this morning do you have some faith to draw this morning do you have some faith to draw power do you have some faith to draw riches do you have some faith to draw wisdom do you have some faith to draw strength do you have some faith to draw honor do you have some faith to draw glory do you have some faith to draw blessing now get into it and begin to draw 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 somebody draw somebody draw 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 come on come on come on come on draw draw grace draw grace draw the blessing draw honor draw might draw strength draw riches you will not fail any exam after now you will not fail any exam after now i have the mind of christ draw wisdom draw honor draw 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 come on draw somebody draw 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 you have 30 seconds more come on draw mana mana kataya embra kepele kadosha draw what you need draw healing draw 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 out draw abundance draw 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 the bible says out of his grace we have received grace for grace out of his grace we receive out of his grace we receive grace upon grace grace upon grace grace upon grace blessing upon blessing favor upon favor gift gift upon gift come on draw draw somebody draw somebody draw somebody draw it draw 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 in jesus name we pray stretch your hands towards this altar in the name of jesus i declare confirmation of that which you've drawn i declare confirmation of that which you've drawn i declare over you the next seven days i command a turn around I command a turn around. I command a turn around. I command a turn around. You walk in power. You walk in dominion. You trample upon scorpions. You trample upon snakes. You walk into riches. You enjoy abundance. You enjoy the wisdom of God. You enjoy the strength of God. You walk in honor. You walk in glory. You enjoy the blessing of God. These seven blessings will manifest in these seven days for you. Seven days, seven blessings. Seven days, seven blessings. Seven days, seven blessings. Seven days, seven blessings. The Lord that made the world in seven days will make it happen for you. In the name of Jesus, this shall be your season of testimonies. It is well with you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. You just lift your hands up to heaven and just say thank you to the Lord. Just thank him, just thank him, just thank him, just thank him.